Port St. Lucie, Florida. We are waiting for a gentleman who goes by Zach Hammer. Hammer Miller. And Zach is supposed to be the guy that's gonna get me on a giant shark in the surf. This is the Hammer Dojo. We got some blown up Fortinos. We got spools that sharks have broken the hub and gauges on. This is made with a Berkeley line wrapper, a sewing pedal, and some shit that electrocutes you once in a while. Jimmy Fee, my buddy from All in the Water Magazine, is in the suite right now, gearing up for what is going to be three days of chaos, I think. The first shark I ever caught on the beach was a black tip shark at Highland Beach. I do remember that. We were probably like 14 years old. So Zach pulls up and it looks like a tackle shop threw up into the back of his pickup truck. There's a kayak, there's 10 rods. Following Zach to the spot, Joe and I got a glimpse of him in the side view mirror. I swear the dude is wearing like war paint. I could be wrong about the war paint. And that is when I realized this dude is on a whole nother level of extreme. The two biggest sharks I've ever caught in the surf, one was a thousand pound hammerhead estimated, another one was about 12 to 1300 pounds estimated. What you want to do is you want to get even strokes, follow through. I'm like the Bob Vila of surf fishing. You know, a boat, you can chase the fish, you can follow the fish. There's nothing really the fish can get you on. But when you hook them from ashore, it is basically land versus sea. It's man versus beast, and you do not always win. I know these guys deliver their baits in kayaks, but I figured he was just going to paddle out, maybe drop them right on the backside of the break. He's not playing around, dude. Kept going, and kept going, kept going. I mean, he was at least 200 yards off the beach when he dropped that first bait over. He's got garden bricks that he's tying up with 30 pound test. This is what's gonna anchor these massive baits to the bottom. Once that shark takes the bait, it's gonna break off that weight and all you're doing is fighting the shark. This encounter is a trap and I don't even know where it's at. Just a short while before Joe and Jimmy came down here to fish with us, I had one afternoon where I got a 10-foot hammer and a 12-foot hammerhead on the shore. I live for catching fish from shore. I never had a boat growing up. First shark I ever hooked in the surf was by accident. I was fishing for stripers with clam. So surf fishing for sharks, I've done it in Jersey. I've been incredibly unsuccessful at it. It's not a sure thing by any means. It's time consuming. It takes a lot of energy and a lot of luck sometimes. It we have a couple of knocks. Some of the lines pop straight. Zach said tarpon could eat it, nurse sharks, any number of things. All right, I am de-harnessing. That is afternoon one, uh, sharks one, us zero. Anchorman is on. He took him with his foot and he kicked him. And pretty soon the freight train that is Zach Hammer Miller will be knocking on this door. How you doing now? Good, how are you? A little tired. Yeah. A little hot. Yeah. A little humid. So we get our lines in, and already we're seeing more life than we did on the first day. There's fish breaking, there's bait fish boiling, and then one rod goes down. Oh yeah, there's something there. So Joe had the harness for day one. He told me day two, the first shark is mine. You know, Zach does this all the time. He told me, you know, he's pretty accurate about figuring out what kind of shark is on the line just by the first few seconds of the fight. And he goes, man, this is a gummy which is Florida speak for a nurse shark. They don't take any line, a lot of death rolling and a lot of that on the end of your line. But nurse sharks prove a point. Even if you are not vicious and marauding, you will scare the crap out of people from West Virginia. Does that hinder your desire to swim here? Yes, I do not want to go in the water now. You've broken the ice? I did. Did I look as manly as I felt? You did. We thought there was a great sign. We all had one shark on the beach and we sat on that beach for six hours without so much as a knock. It was miserable, it was hot, nobody was having a good time. It started getting late and you know, we were getting concerned. I'm gonna give this a little bit longer out here just until the sun goes down and uh, we're gonna go soak some big baits off the bridges tonight, see if we can find a big bull in the river. So as the sun starts to get real low, Joe and I decide we're gonna start cleaning up a little bit. And we're loading stuff into Zach's pickup truck and we hear him shouting. We're hooked up, get down here, get down here. We're not gonna stop it. We're not gonna stop it. I... It just got real. I'm just watching this spool 
empty. So ideally, this was all gonna happen in daylight, but the sun went down. We've gotta get this on film somehow. You seeing this spool dump? I had the camera, it's a night vision. Joe's on the rod. Believe you me, filming this kind of stuff in the dark is no bueno. But we're gonna do the best we can. I realized that we might be hooked up to a hammerhead probably about 20 minutes into the fight. Nothing fights this hard. I keep thinking I'm gaining on this fish and he takes a little bit back. Just digging. For every inch he gains, that shark was taken two or three feet. This is intense, dude. Zach's out there somewhere in the dark with a flashlight and a pair of pliers. Oh my God. He's taking everything I just had. There's nothing I can do to this reel. Nothing. I just see some kid come sprinting in front of me. I don't even know who that guy is. He just showed up. Turns out that Zach had actually called in reinforcements. His buddy Mike was fishing not too far away. This is a very dangerous situation. People engine that thing, man. We got to get this thing past the f***ing wave. If we didn't have a fourth person there, a lot of things could go wrong. Somebody can get cut by the wire. He's over your head. He's coming over your head. Somebody could get bit. Zach's kind of screaming out which way the shark's going, north and south. And all of a sudden, I just felt it pop. Please do not let this happen to me now. Is he there? I don't know. And Zach's just going, real man, real, real, real. Yeah, he's there. He changed directions. Oh, I thought we lost that fish. We've got flashlights trying to find the fish. And somebody scans the top of a wave. Oh, there's the fin. Hammerhead, the fin's up. Hammer! Stay tuned, you're gonna see an effing monster here in a minute. What's up, everybody? Dude, we you really don't have time for this segment in this episode. The last 20 minutes of the fight, we finally got a glimpse of its dorsal fin, and that's where it started getting a little dicey. It won't come in past the break, man. We were this close, and now she's peeling again. We just need one wave for him to get tripped up on, man, get outside of that surf break, and then he's ours. Now this is making things even more intense because Zach does not want these fish out of water for any length of time. Since hammerheads have such a short shelf life to get them back in the water so they survive, we couldn't screw around this time. This is gonna be pandemonium. I mean, it kinda already is. Joe was by himself freaking out up at the rod. Me and Mike bum rushed the fish. Zach's screaming, Mike's screaming. They're trying to get a tail rope on it. Mike, look, grab the leader. I've got the line going over my head. I'm, du I'm ducking, I'm trying to keep the camera out of the wave. It was madness. Got it, got it, cut it close, it's dead. Don't be up in the mouth, Watch out. Watch your feet, get away from the head. I'm screaming to Joe to get the still camera. Yeah, yeah, get the camera, get the still camera. All I wanted to do was get one good still shot of this fish, but it's pitch dark. There's nothing to focus on. How big? How big? It's like 11, 12. We got to go. All right, we got like an 11, 12 footer here. It's got to go back right now. That was unbelievable. Take the skills. We got to go. I fire one off while I'm literally kneeling in a breaking surf. Hurry up. Hurry up. And just hope for the best. And it is far from the best photo I ever took. But man, you see every bit of that fish. There is nothing we could have done that would have trumped a 12 foot estimated 475 pound hammerhead on the beach. A fish of that size is not that common. And the looks on Joe and Jimmy's faces after that happened are priceless. The shark fishing down here is crazy. I, I would never expect to see a hammerhead like that or any shark like that caught off the beach. That is a trophy catch by any standard. It is a fish that I will never forget as long as I live. I think we need some uh, nacho cheese chalupas like ASAP. Dude, you don't even know what's about to happen <laughs> to Taco Bell.